Last year, Ali Stroker made history as the first wheelchair user to win a Tony Award for her role in the Broadway performance of Oklahoma. Watching her performance is incredible as she glides and moves about the stage with ease. This should have been one of the biggest nights of Stroker's life, but there was a catch. Instead of waiting in the audience for her name to be called and then coming up to the stage, Stroker had to wait off stage in the wings until her category was announced. Radio City Music Hall, where the awards show took place, has no ramp from the audience to the stage, only stairs. So, at a key moment in Stroker's career, when she should have been surrounded and celebrated by her peers, friends, and family, she was isolated and alone off stage. You've probably heard it said that the only disability in life is a bad attitude, but I'm here today to tell you that that's just not true. My disability and the disabilities of others in my community are real and valid. People with disabilities are run into obstacles on a daily basis. However, with the right resources and accommodations, we can accomplish just as much as able-bodied individuals can. The Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990 provides protections for people with disabilities in areas of employment, public accommodation, transportation, and communications, or at least it does in theory. While the past 30 years have seen a lot of progress in terms of how people with disabilities are accommodated in public life, there is still a long ways to go. So today, let's look at the history of the Americans with Disabilities Act some of its limitations, and important next steps to ensuring that people with disabilities are fully included in our society today. The Americans with Disabilities Act, Act provides civil rights protections for people with disabilities similar to those provided for color, sex, national origin, and religion. Passed in 1990, it outlines multiple ways for which um, people with disabilities should be protected in public life. Prior to 1990, there was no real protections for people with disabilities, and because of this, mo most of them ended up stuck in their own homes, isolated and alone, unable to reach the outside world because it was simply physically inaccessible to them. By passing the Americans with Disabilities Act, the federal government was making a public statement that people with disabilities deserved to be fully incorporated into public life. There are many ways in which the Americans with Disabilities Act attempts to do this. However, today I'd like to focus in on one major obstacle that people with disabilities face, stairs. Stairs are a major obstacle for people with mobility concerns, including wheelchair users. And in our society today, they seem to be everywhere. Alternative accommodations such as ramps and elevators are typically only mandatory in buildings constructed after 1990. The major loophole of the ADA is that buildings are, do not have to be accessible if they, can deem that, if they can demonstrate that such accessibilities are not readily feasible for them. And this can include the amount of employees the company has or the cost of such renovations. Historical buildings are also often exempt from AD, being ADA compliant. As the main loophole here is that historical buildings do not have to be compliant if they can demonstrate that compliancy would affect the historical design of the building. These loopholes send a message to people with disabilities that the difficulty in creating an accessible space is more important than having a space that's open and accessible to everyone. And I don't want to detract from the ADA because it was a huge step forward to promoting people with disabilities in public life. However, there are many ways in which we can take important steps forward to promote people with disabilities and ensure that they are fully included in our society today. So where do we go from here? Well, it starts with deconstructing our negative stigma about people with disabilities. People with disabilities are not bad, broken, or a burden on society. They are people with goals, dreams, and ideas that need to be heard. As we strive for a more inclusive society, it's vital that all voices are represented at the table. This is impossible if some voices can't get to the table in the first place. As we work to deconstruct our negative stigmas about people with disabilities, we need to also focus on physical obstacles that prevent them from accessing public life. 
This means embracing the concept of universal design. Universal design is a design concept that places accessibility as a high priority and a concept of good design. And universal design views that design should place a high importance on creating a space in which all people, regardless of their size, ability, or disability, can comprehend and use the space. While using universal design, we understand that having a space in which all people can access and use it means that the space is better for everyone. Today, I want to encourage you to start to pay attention to the environments in, in your community. Notice places where universal design elements have already been implemented, while also paying attention to spaces that aren't yet accessible for people with disabilities, or that separate people with disabilities from the rest of the community. While many important steps have been taken over the past 30 years to fully include people with disabilities into society, there are many steps that need to be taken to promote the full inclusion, because we're not quite there yet. As we start to deconstruct our own negative stigmas about people with disabilities and embrace concepts like universal design, I hope that you start to realize that in a world that's accessible to people with disabilities is a world that's better for everyone. When I think about the future, I see a world with ramps instead of stairs. I see a world in which accessibility is the norm, not the exception, and in which ADA compliancy is the bare minimum when designing a building. But most of all, I see a world in which people with disabilities can achieve their goals and be celebrated for them without being hidden backstage. Thank you.